And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Kansas City Royals. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll here. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Brady Singer. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. But I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. And the pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Slow roller to third. Sends it to out. Perez. One out in the top of the first. All right, throw. let's take a look at the Angels lineup. Not the highest team batting average for this squad. They're down towards the bottom of the league in total hits, and Singy, because of that, they don't score a ton. Yeah, and Boog, I'm looking for a little better performance out of them today. I mean, if they're going to be dangerous, if they're going to be able to create scoring opportunities, they're going to have to start making some individual adjustments. A lot of players in this lineup probably aren't happy with how they've hit the ball so far. So today's a chance to get something going. The one-two. Rip towards third. Zips it to first. Quick start here this evening. Two out. Top of the first. Hey, man. Four pitches, two hard outs. Hard. That is an excellent pace. Nolan. Two outs. Base is empty. Stepping in, Nolan Shanuel. This one chopped to first. Perez takes it himself. Angels retired. One, two, three. Angels held in check, and now the Royals will get their first shot in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at Kauffman Stadium, today's starting pitcher, Jack Kachanowitz. And Chris, he's hoping for some better fortune moving forward. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Here's the third baseman, number 11. And that's down and away. Late with the swing there. Two ball, two strikes. Kicks and deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. On the ground to third. Put the extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that rolls into the corner. And he'll make it safely for a leadoff double in the bottom of the first. Anthony Rendon, and he'll be the injury now replacement, number taking number over third. Number six. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. The 1-1. One -one. Inside no, just missed. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. There's a swing and a drive. Ward going back on this one. And it's off the wall. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. That's two consecutive extra base hits for this team. Just about got it out of here down the line to left. So 
I'm sure he wishes he could have put a little more behind it, but he's got to feel good about that missile off the wall. And next up for the Royals, Vinny Pasquantino. Man at second. Towards first, Pavadas. And he handles it himself for the out. Batting four. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. This has been a good productive lineup so far this year. Currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game. Well, you know this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play, Boog. I mean, this is an age where strikeouts are up so high and players are swinging and missing going for the fences. But if you can increase that contact rate, you can be a dangerous club. You get more runners on base, and then all of a sudden when that big swing comes through, you're plating more runs. So we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact. Let the defense work behind her. One, two, bottom of the first. The pitch. No, that's the ball. Just missed. It's two, a good two. take. Ah. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. That is good. Hunter Renfro at the plate. Renfro. Two outs. Full count. In the dirt, and an excellent job keeping it right there. Here comes a pitch. Swung on, belted. Monia going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. KC gets one on the double. It's now 1-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Kansas City. New inning getting started. And now it's the Angels cleanup bat. Nico Cavadas. Swing and a miss. One and two. And another ball. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, Boog, Joey Mack. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. This one in the air. In position. One up, one down. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Next pitch misses outside. And a count two and one. And that one off the outside edge. Lifted in the air right center field. Makes the grab two down. That is good. The catcher. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. The Angels trailing by a run here at the top of the second. That one catches the corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Angels go quietly there, still behind by a count of one to nothing. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the second. And here's the catcher, Freddie Fermin. The 2-1. Yeah, that one is in for a strike. Two ball, two strike. And the righty deals. 
And another ball. Recognize that changeup okay. right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Got him looking for the K. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Now, here is Michael Massey. One out, base is empty. And that's in the dirt. Two and two. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Good plate okay. appearance there. Able to take the walk. One gone runner at first. Here's Garrett Hampson. Massey leads off first with one away. Trying to punt his way on. Kavadis. Fired to second. And they'll just get the one. Batting on. No left field. Blanco. Dyrone Blanco steps in for the Royals. Kochanowitz checks on first. Hampson back easily. So now Ball two four. on and two outs. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, Third and a chance eight. for this offense to My add player. on to their lead. So the Royals batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Two on, two outs. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that is that. Royals strand a pair. But they lead it one to nothing. Top half of the third inning. So in now for the Angels, Joe Adele. Joe Adele. Two two now. Got it. And one away in the top of the third. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. And next for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. Bounce to the left side. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Here's the second baseman. Michael Stefanik. The Halos down by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Finish him. Wouldn't chase that time. Swings and misses at the breaking ball in the dirt. Got him. In and over on the strikeout. Nine straight retired here to start the game. It's the Royals one and the Angels nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Next offering is in for a strike. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. The pitch. And that's Offering. in the dirt. Okay. Oh. 
struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner win. But two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. That misses. Two and one. One down, base is empty. And it's even up. 2-2. Two, two. Chop to the left side. On to first. Out. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Now bad. The, the first base. base. Sell the goal. Goal. Two oh. outs, base is empty. Now it'll be the cleanup hitter for the Royals, Salvador Perez. Two outs, bases empty. Swing and a miss as he chases that one, one darting out of the zone. Bows it off, still one and two. And that one lifted in the air center field. Moniak makes the catch and that'll do it. Back here at Kauffman Stadium as we go to the top of the fourth. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Pitch. That's a little bit low. You know, these Angels, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. A little up front there as he swings through it. Side and that is ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggling to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Righty delivers. That's the ball. And now it's even up. Going to lay off that pitch down. Line drive, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now the DH, Nolan Shonowell. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Stays alive. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Ward, the lead runner at second. Neto on at first with nobody out. Ball. And another ball. They tried to Two get him ball. to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. And a ground ball to first. Perez is... over to second. On to first, double play. Yeah. The 3 6 one double play, in my opinion, one of the toughest plays to make. You've got a pitcher covering first, and the middle infielder throwing to a moving target. Everything has to be perfect, and right there, they made it look pretty easy. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Nico Cavadas. Trying to make double plays, trying to 
pick up his teammate and tie this game. Two outs. That one down the line into the outfield. Base hit. Runner from third in to score. It's 1 1. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Now it's Anthony Rendon. Next offering is down low. One run across in the frame so far. Top half of inning number four. On the ground right side. Sends it to Perez. That takes care of Rendon. And that is the inning. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even now at 1-1. Back after this on the show. Back here in Kansas City. Ready to go. Bottom four. Now it's Hunter Renfro. The 1-1. Swing and a miss. And that's strike two. Activity in the bullpen. Mike Bauman. The young right-hander up and throwing. And he deals. And another ball. Fights it off. You'll see another. And a swing and a miss. One down. Next is the Royals catcher, Freddie Vereen. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. One down, base is empty. Late swing, fouled off. You come into the game knowing that Unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. That one ripped. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's got himself a triple. Everything came together for him. A lot of times in today's game, right fielders are able to get to a ball that stays in like that, but he hit that one pretty well. And if he hits it just a little bit different on the barrel, it's out of here easily. But there's nothing wrong with the extra bases right there. Runner at third, two gone. And to the plate for Kansas City, Garrett Hampson. Ah. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two strikes. And a pitch. Ball. And that skips into there. Two ball, two strikes. Swings and sends a rocket to right. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Royals leave one. Score remains deadlocked at one. And we're back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the Angels catcher, Matt Thice. And that one fouled off. 
Left hand batter waits. That missed by a lot. It's two and two. Ground ball to the right side. And he picks it up in foul territory. The wind of the pitch. Hard hit, right side. Fires over to first. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Now that the right hand. Here's Joe Adele. Now fly ball to right center. Renfro getting an angle on it. They got it for out number two. Now that the seventh. Mickey. And next for L.A., Mickey Moniak. Two down, nobody on. Oh. And another ball. Wouldn't Three chase ball. that time. Right. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Ground ball right side, foul. and it goes Finish. just foul. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. And the right hander deals. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two outs. The right hander oh, gives up the two out walk. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a false scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. 1 1 now. No. Top to third. Sends it to Perez. Out number three. Angels lead one. Still tied. 1-1. One, one. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Mike Bauman. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Dyrone Blanco digs in now. No left field. Dyrone Blanco. The line and the pitch. Fall off foul. Right handed reliever. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's one away. Yeah, yeah. The third baseman. Mike Down the third baseman. And yep. strike two. One, two. Ball. Next offering is outside. Two ball, two strike. One down, base is empty. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Riding to the plate. That to right. Adele moves under it. Pulls it down, and there's two gone. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bobby Witt Jr. All the strike. The pitch. There's the strike. 95 of that one.
ball. The shortstop takes the ball. Two two. The line to kick the pitch. In the air to left down the line. Did he trip? What happened? Sniper? Great effort. That's how bad he wanted that one. Head first dive. <laughs> the wind of the pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Sneaks through. Base hit. And that extends the inning. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. At the belt and fires. Runner on the goal. Pitch misses inside. Save it second, and that was not close. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home run so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Man on second, two down. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. So one left for Kansas City. Score remains tied, 1-1. set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the Angels leadoff man, Taylor Ward. And a pitch. Ball two. Action in the pen down two there. One. Will Smith, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Lorenzen also throwing. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. The 2 2. Oh, and down. another ball. And a pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and fires. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And here it comes. Light drive. It gets down, base hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. Just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. It doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Brady Singer gives way, and it's a tie ball game as he heads for the dugout. Back with a new arm after a quick break. Michael Lorenzen will take over here. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. So in now for the Angels, Zach Neto. Right-hander kicks deals. Missed with a changeup, and it's two and one. One strike. Runner takes off. Swing and a miss. Oh, and they got it. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, that was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Battling here as he fouls it away. Mm -hmm. 
One down, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And the count's full. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side, Massey. Tosses to first. He didn't make things easy for him there, but they still get the out. Nolan Shonowell, the next to hit for the Angels. Two down, nobody on. And a good eye there. Fastball for a strike. Two outs. And they'll do it again. The 2 2. Hard Swing beat. and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. To the bottom of the six we go. 4 5 6 coming up. All tied 1 1. of the six and now it's Salvador Perez to the plate here comes a pitch that clips the corner man I mean nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was meanwhile activity in the bullpen Brock Burke appears to be getting loose Strickland getting loose as well Adam swinging gassed it right by him I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted. Oh, he got the swing 15. and miss, and I'm Hunter. sure put a sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Next offering is in for a strike. Pitch. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The pitch. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. See, he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Oh, Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're yeah, looking yeah. to protect, and yeah, yeah, halfway yeah. to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. I'll tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip the cap. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And now it's one and two. Oh, and there's ball. Warm burner into the outfield for a knock. And that keeps the inning going. He was all over no, that. Bad, 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 but he smoked that man. ball back up the middle. Goal. Timing was just perfect. Got a great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Next to hit, Michael Massey. A little bit high. Now two balls and a strike. With the go-ahead run at first, here in the bottom of the sixth. 
around the corner for a strike. And the count is even two and two. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Evidently not too impressed with that call and it feels like he got squeezed on the outside corner So he's making his case You've got to be careful to pick your spots in terms of showing your frustration with the umpire and he felt this was his time Bounce that off to the left and we'll do it again Out to short Inning over he's out Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Will Smith. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year. So the defense should be active. So now the angel cleanup hitter, Nico Cavadas. Nico Cavadas. Left hand hitter waits. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Fights that one away, still one and two. And now the lefty. Ball. And it's filled up. And he hits a ground ball right side. And that one handled. Slings to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Now that third base. Anthony Rendon. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. In the dirt. Now two balls and a strike. All tied up here in the top half of inning number seven. In the air, right field. Renfro in position. And there are two down. Now here's the catcher to hit, Matt Thice. <laughs> And that one a little below the knees. And that's ball two. Ball and three. another ball. Bounce to the right side. And that's just foul. Two down, nobody on. Line drive, base hit. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Digging in, Joe Adele. Right. That one catches the zone. That is strike two. pitch slice to right and foul ball and he deals hit on the ground to the right side he takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it
picking a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Hunter Strickland. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. So up now for Kansas City, Garrett Hampson. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that ball. Righty delivers, and yeah. a swing and a miss. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Toughest pitch to hit, fastball on the outer Go black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Here's the left fielder, Dyrone Blanco. Here's a 1-1. The other way, hauls it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's the third baseman. Lifted in the air, right field. Adele moves under it. Makes the catch. And that will end the inning. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Chris Stratton. Now, well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Angels making a move for a pinch hitter. Kevin Pillar. He represents the go-ahead run. Two. One, two. The pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Outside. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Oh. And another ball. Oh, Michael Stefanik to bat next. Right-handed reliever. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making them work out there. And the righty deals. That one, one misses. So a leadoff walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. When you go that deep into the bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Go ahead, run on base. And next for the Angels, Michael Stefanik. And the pitch. And he pops up the bunt. Drops into the glove. Taylor Ward will hit next. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. 
should be an inning ending double play. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. Got him swinging for the K. Slider got him for strike three. That slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Now it's the shortstop, Zach Neto. Pilar on the move. And a count one and two. Two gone. The possible go-ahead run at first. Stratton picks over. Pilar back in standing. And the right-hander deals. Bows it off. Still one and two. Two outs. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And a one-two again. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. So no runs on no hits. No errors. And one left on. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. All tied 1-1. Now Staying in the game on defense, Kevin Pillar. He'll be out Kevin. center now after pinch Pilar. hitting. And to the play for Kansas City, Bobby, 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 Bobby Witt Jr. Not sure. Oh, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base pass. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Out to short. Sends it across Out. to first. They keep a big threat off the bases. Huge in a tie That's game like this. One out. And now the center fielder, Vinny Pasquantino. Kicks and fires. Kick swing, and he held up. Bases empty one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And the pitch. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. He just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Now at the plate, Salvador Perez. Two down, nobody on. Swing it a foul straight back. In the air, right side of the infield. Cavadas moving under this one. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Royals go down one, two, three. It's the ninth, and we are tied. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Sam Long. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. The 1-1. One, one. 
No. And the slider just misses. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Lucas Ersen, the right-handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Hernandez, the hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the oh, bat alive. And that's in the dirt. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter, blowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. So here's the cleanup hitter, Nico Cavadas. Just missed. The count two and one. That one drifts inside. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Anthony Rendon on deck for the Angels. All tied up here at the top of the ninth. Two. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves, knowing that they can miss the bat. Tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And yeah, that's ball two. Two outs. And strike two. Two ball, two strike. Two down, nobody on. In the air, out towards right center. Renfro in position. And makes the grab. And that'll do it. Offense held in check there. Five, six, and seven will leave things off in the bottom of the ninth. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Carson Fulmer. Now, well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. The right field. Hunter Renfro goes down looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ball now down after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. And next up for the Royals, Freddie Fermin. Right-hander kicks, deals, and strike two. One ball, two strikes. Ball and two. another ball moving in the bullpen. Two, Brock Burke, the left hander, up and throwing. seem to be over as soon as it started. A pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Michael Massey steps in for the Royals. Trying to send this to extra innings. Hard hit to third. Fires across the diamond. That's the third out. And we're headed to extras.